Okay, yeah, I came up here to capture this narration for this pig story, and I'm supposed to say why I got pigs. Why did I get these 10 pigs? Yeah, this is like, didn't you just do this two days ago? Knock your feet out? And didn't you guys just bust out two days ago? My uh, buddy, Mike Bacotti, told me about this farm that was going out of business. They raise animals like we do, and I thought, well, that's interesting. We could probably get some good deals, and it turns out they had steers. Well, that turned into heifers. That turned out good, and they had pigs, and I'm pigs for everyone, and I thought, why don't we get some pigs? We're good on pigs, but why don't we do a one-acre market farm. Let's show people what you can do on one acre. 10 pigs, 12 paddocks, moving them around, and let's see if we can't make some money and from our local influence or online influence, and uh, but start locally and see if we could teach other people how to do this. I've got 10 feeder pigs, and I've got one acre of woods. I'm starting a pig farm. This is us setting up an ideal setup. Did I say setup too much? Now we got pigs on the homestead, and it's probably one of the most exciting part is setting up one acres in the forest. One acres, one acre in the forest. Let's get our tools. Actually, before we go to the field, we need to train the pigs to my electric fence. You can hear it grounding out. Oh, they, they know this. It may be trained in that. Yeah, they won't go near it. Yeah, they've been trained in that. I thought they'd been trained to wire, but I didn't know they were trained in that. They know that now. Next up, our one acre glen. It's perfect. It's forested. It's not too steep. One acre is good for 10 pigs. We need to divide it into 12 paddocks. This is basically a rectangled glen. So we're gonna do two sizes of six. We're gonna measure each length, divide it by six, and then put the flags down. So ideally, we're gonna put them in a forest situation where it's nice and cool. We're gonna stock them in a regenerative way. We're not gonna put too many per acre. So 10 per acre. Now we're gonna imagine it's broken down into 12 little paddocks. Now we're only gonna do one, two paddock at a time, and then just move the paddocks. That means we can keep our pigs in one paddock for a week, and then move them out, and we don't return to that first paddock for 84 days. For pigs, that's the rest and sanitation it needs. I've set up what I call a source fence. That <laughs> source fence connects to our energizer here, and we build off of that. We've got our paddock set up, and we've got some help. Let's do a final check, make sure nothing's hitting the fence. We got the trailer ready. You pigs, you ready? You're hungry, we haven't fed you yet. We are there. You guys ready for this? This is an exciting moment. They're crowding up at the entrance. The bucket, the pan has come down. I don't want to get in there and get it and pull it up because I'm going to scare somebody and they're going to jump right through the fence and destroy it. So we're just taking our time. They're going to the forest. They don't even care about the feed pan. Love it. Let's continue to move them up. I'll drop some feed on the ground. 
Jonah carefully bring that fence over. Holy smokes. They love it. Look at them. We got some eating the grain. We got some digging and exploring. Oh, that makes my heart sing. <laughs> ten, 10 pigs in the woods. I am so excited about that. We've started a farm. Hey, we've started a pig farm. Yes. Then it was just a matter of maintaining the rotational system, getting them water and feed. I say just, you know, kind of towards the end. It's been a little tricky keeping up with them, but I'll tell you the truth. Josiah, my 12 year old has done the absolute majority of this. So there's a little, little holes in the plot. Water is below the nipple, so they do need water. All right, we've got a hose filled up with water. Johnny, you're gonna put it on that end? Yep. And I'm gonna put it on this end. I guess we put them in at the same time or what? This is so cool. I like it. What do you think, Beck? It's really nice up here. The water and It'll the feeder. It'll be really nice once this is pasture. Is it ready for the pigs? Yes. Good job. They need a little coaxing. There they go. That was easy. This is their first pig move, so they're not in the groove yet. Pig, 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 pig. Pig, 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 pig. There they go. Bring that pan, Jonah. They move nicely. Look. They're happy. They're so happy. Happy than this attic. Let's see how this works. Is it working? There it goes. Yep. They'll figure it out. They gotta turn that. I'd say they're hungry. What do you guys think? Rebecca went and got our hose filled up with water. If you fill a hose full of water to siphon, then you'll have to suck on one end. I hope we're not missing something here that creates threads. a vacuum seal. No, I don't because it's there's not no threads. hole there. There's no the, thread. Oh, you're thinking like a stopper. A plug or something. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid this water's gonna come right over the edge. It looks like it's leveled out. And it might be messed up because it can't really sit on a level spot either. Why we have a leak right here? Jo okay, uh, pinch the hose off, Jonah. Put some of those like logs that. underneath it, Jonah. Yeah, put some logs. Maybe it has to be flat. It has to be flat is what's it. We got that stopped by leveling it. I guess it does have to be level. It still could be... Did we lift it too much? Good news is this is leveled out. We've been having water problems out at our pigs. We got them a reservoir. We got a totally new system. They're drinking it. They're drinking almost half in a day. They're at it right now. It's working. I think we might switch it to the other side of the T-post. Shoot, this is broken off. And they're nibbling on me. Stop, guys. I'm trying to help you. If the feed is wet, not coming through. Looks like it's caked up a little bit. Yeah, this is caked on. I don't think it's stopping it from working, but we might as well uncake it while we're in here. This would have definitely restricted the flow. Well, guys, I think we fixed it once and for all. Let's rig this up a little bit better. Now it's proven to work. These metal bands are not easy to break. That's too far back to do it like that. 
Do you think it is too far back? Or do I need to do it like that? And then I could do a strap here and here. It really kind of needs to be like that. Okay, I hope they can get their mouths around. I them. hope so. They might not be able to, and that's okay. We'll pick something else. Let's see if they can even get it so, so with that little bit of a nipple. They're the problem is it's gonna, it, it can get pushed back. We need to wrap it around that knot. We need to go get more zip ties. Eh, eh, eh. It's gonna start nibbling on the hose. Ah, 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 ah. Not gonna work, not gonna work. This is gonna kink over time too, guys. I don't necessarily know the solution. I'm just gonna pull it out. I think we rigged it. Oh look. Oh, let's cut that little tag off. The pigs made it full circle, rotating them every, I don't know, week to 12 days, 12 paddocks, and they made it back to the original spot, and it was recovered and just fine, and they were ready to go again. The 10 pigs on my one acre pig farm are moving to their original spot. We finally made a loop in that acre. We've got our water, the pig's date is up in like 15 days, two weeks, they're gone. We never really did figure out a better water supply than just hauling it up there. We've got our harvest date, and I thought, let's invite everybody in my phone, locals, first, not, not my online influence, and let's see how many shares we can sell, but just give it a free tour. Give free content. Hey guys, come, enjoy a free tour. We'll see the whole farm, you can see the pigs, uh, we ended up getting a food truck here. It was amazing. And by the way, we got some power for sale. Permaculture will teach you to turn a problem into a solution. So we see that the pig wants to, wants to root and till. And this is a place we didn't have pasture once. So we could throw in pasture seed. This was their original spot when we first brought them home. And they're back to it. And it's clean in here. They're going to underbrush in there. We are selling this pork. I'm going to give everybody a sheet if they want some. Uh, we are selling it by halves or holes. Maybe if you don't even want to go out on half, maybe you can find somebody and you can quarter it up. And notice we have the pigs in the forest. They like the forest. People talk about the goats for the, uh, for the underbrushing and clearing, but forget that. Pigs will do it too and they taste a lot better. Because we grew these for the market and they're growing, they can eat all they want all the time, 24 seven. Now, if you're a grown pig, no way. Because they'll keep eating and then they're eating 50 pounds a day. Out of 10 pig shares, we sold it by the half or the whole. We sold three and a half pig shares, so that's over, end up being over $6,000. Not bad. Okay, Dan's directing me on this. Dan, my editor, is now turning into my director. I love it. Uh, we need final thoughts. My final thoughts are, this has been great. This has been a great demo experience. I just called the meat handler's license. We just set up our stand-up freezer because we didn't sell all the pit pork that we did. So now we're having a thought of, well, we, we may sell to you guys. I guess you should check the link in the description just in case. But, we, but I think what we want to do is maybe see if we can't partner with some of our friends who are at the farmer's markets and see if we can't sell pork there. Uh, it would really be cool to try to sell pork like a normal person. But, but overall, having these 10 pigs on one acre, I've shown it's possible. And I'm super happy because whether I do it again or not, they help me. They're helping me clear so that you can actually get in there. Sun can get down on the weeds, on the grass seeds, and grass can grow. And we can actually get in there with machines, chainsaws, and turn it into this. So this time next year, I dare to say, this is gonna look like this. And it's gonna be a happy place for cows. And that's important because cows are the most near and dear to our heart. They are our centerpiece of the farm. Everything is complimenting them. So even if this didn't work out, which is working out for sale, we used animals to do the work of the farm and we're happy. That's the cool thing about multi-purpose. Everything is, sure we, we could get the pork, but we can also get the tilling and the work. And if one fails, the other could still win. And in this case, both have won, so I'm extremely happy.